So across the country, um, science education is moving in the direction of getting students into the lab and doing more science. With the next generation of science standards being adopted by most of the states, it's going to push all high school education in that direction. And so for us, it's something we've been doing for the last decade or more. Chase High presents an opportunity that you can go beyond the textbook, is that you really apply the knowledge that you learn into a lab experience. And the lab experience is that you really like physically see it and that you really understand it after the lab experience. The lab really is a teacher as well as they are uh, in person. So we go into the lab during every double period and we're able to use an experiment to then compensate and uh, teach us about what we're learning in the classroom as well. ask them to design an experiment and really set them loose to explore, to test things, and ultimately they kind of, they as a group, arrive at a conclusion that then they can share and they can talk about. Well, when you're forced to work and collaborate with each other because the problems are not made, that one individual person would know that how to answer correctly every single problem. Um, and so you're for, for forced to work in a team So in addition to what we have as offerings in the classroom, our students are able to really choose from a wide range of opportunities here on campus. And, and students can get involved in environmental club, pre-med club, or they can, for physical education credit, they can sign up to work at the farm. So some of the things that we've been working on recent, more recently is getting our students involved with the, the strong research and development scene in the Pittsburgh area. My favorite part of the program has been the independent study opportunities. So I did an independent study doing original research down in the lab working with a protein. And then I did another independent study third term on anatomy. And so I was able to really pursue different interests that I have outside of the classroom and that we don't necessarily cover in our classes. We have students who we are able to connect with researchers at the University of Pittsburgh or at CMU. And they're able to go in and work alongside PhD researchers doing authentic research. We will have some kind of assignment and do all the research and then your goal is to bring it to the class and bring it out and put it in broader terms, in terms that everybody can understand. And so they do a good job of fostering scientific communication skills as well. One of the things we're really excited about is the new Center for Science and Innovation. It's going to provide us with the space that's going to allow our students to move seamlessly from the classroom, laboratory. Um, it's going to provide space for independent research projects. It's going to be a building that's going to allow us to take our science program to the next level. I think one of the strengths of our curriculum is that regardless of how a student comes into Shadyside, um, they're able to be challenged and they're able to grow significantly. It was that the material was uh, interesting, but also challenging. And oftentimes those students who come in not thinking that they're a science student um, will find themselves taking advanced biology or organic chemistry by the time they're a senior. I would say that it's whatever you want it to be. You can focus on any discipline you want, you can take it as far as you want. We have faculty members who know a lot or are willing to learn a lot about pretty much every every discipline out there and if again if they don't know anything they're willing to learn it and so you can find what you like you can take it as far as you want you can get outside of the classroom mm -hmm. and so if you can if you can really find your passion and take advantage of it it has a lot to offer